you need to know where we are right now in time. See, at the end of this year is the end of a chrono season, and we're coming into a new era. Uh, we start a whole new chronos era in September. I always go by the Jewish uh, Hebrew calendar because our covenant is in Hebrew. And this year, in September, we start shifting into a new era. We're, this whole last decade is about seeing. It's about refining your vision. It's about determining who you are, what you're about. But we're moving into a season of incredible speaking and decrees and warring for our future. I call it the prophetic war season. So you're going to have to understand several things. Revelation and how it works, how to use revelation to go to war, and then how to break structures that are trying to weary your thinking process and get you out of time. Now, uh, as I said earlier, I feel like the Lord has ordained today. Uh, this has been quite a journey for me, uh, nonstop, coming uh, uh, from various places in the U.S., Pennsylvania, and then Tokyo, then Jakarta, then uh, Batam, then uh, uh, Kuala Lumpur, then back to Houston, then back to where we were uh, this weekend, and then here. And it's been a journey that the Lord has been uh, speaking to me on giving me a perspective for right now. Everybody say now. Now, now go ahead, Chad, and listen. This is what the Lord said to me for here. He said that today we need to call forth your breakthrough highway. Now, right now, just say, I'm ready to see that highway. And so that's what today's about, and I believe it's time for your new road to form. <clears throat> So you can follow it into the season ahead. And so to do that, we're going to have to understand that times and seasons are key. It is not always easy to get into the new. Sometimes you have to force yourself into the new. You have to just make a effort not to agree with an old way of thinking. You have to make an effort to say, this season is over. You can't just keep saying, because, see, the enemy will keep you hung up and keep you going. We have had a piece of land in process for a year and a half, and finally I just said, it's either now or never for you. And you have to set, you have to stay in God's time and force yourself into the season that he's calling you to. And so, see, when you're in God's time, there's this fragrance that comes off of you. There, you resonate something. You move forward with something. You, uh, all of a sudden, you don't miss the windows that are above you. And time has several dynamics to it. It's got present time. Now, touch somebody. We're in present time right now. Now, see, God's not in time. God is outside of time, but we're in time. And then in present time, there's something called moed, which is an accepted time. All of a sudden, all you've been giving, all you've been doing, the Lord says now. Everybody say now. now. Then there's something called uh, plethero, which is the fulfillment of time. All of a sudden, you give one gift again, and everything pours out on top of you. All you've been praying, you pray one more prayer, and all of a sudden, the bowl turns over. It's full. It's called fullness of time. Tell somebody, I'm ready for the bowl to turn over. But here's what I want you to understand. One of the reasons we can have vision 
is that uh, God's not in time. He's outside of time. Even though we're in time by His Spirit, He can move us out of time and show us the future. See, God's uh, 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 children are, were the ones called to tell the future. The Issachar tribe who knew the word could look up in the heavens and say, here's what God is saying. And so they told the future through using the Word of God. And so it, that is not a, an occult dynamic. See, divination is just the opposite. There is a fine line between divination and you seeing into the future. There's a fine line between ESP and Word of Knowledge. And you have to get to a place of separation in your uh, inner man so you can discern what, what you need to discern for the future. So it becomes very, very important. And without that, you lose vision. And so see, there's a word in the New Testament called uh, uh, prophetes. You can, it's, it's the word used for prophets that, can take a situation and speak wisdom into it in time, but it also is the word used that for you to be able to move beyond time and say this will happen. And so we're at a place where we need to be operating in different dimensions of time. And then, of course, once you have given your life to the Lord Jesus Christ, you've been regenerated, uh, rebirthed, and He's living inside of you, you have eternal time living inside of you. Eternity has been set in your heart. You are not bound to live by here. All the devil's threats, you can speak back to it. Because only death has a small sting to it. It has a sting, but you already have the capacity to get past it. So, because of that, you need to know where we are right now in time. See, at the end of this year is the end of a chrono season, and we're coming into a new era. Uh, we start a whole new chronos era in September, I always go by the Jewish uh, Hebrew calendar because our covenant is in Hebrew. And this year, in September, we start shifting into a new era. We're, this whole last decade is about seeing. It's about refining your vision. It's about determining who you are, what you're about. But we're moving into a season of incredible speaking and decrees and warring for our future. I call it the prophetic war season. So you're going to have to understand several things. Revelation and how it works, how to use revelation to go to war, and then how to break structures that are trying to weary your thinking process and get you out of time. Because, see, that's what the enemy does. The enemy uh, is not legitimate any longer. Satan's headship was broken by the Lord Jesus Christ. But we have to enforce that. We have to understand that. And that's what today is about for you. The Lord showed me uh, last night how the enemy is trying to hold you captive in time and that today we break out of it. And it has to break. And you have to just say, things just shifted. Say it out loud. Things just shifted. See, if you don't, what will happen is he is a master of deferring time. That is an accounting principle. In other words, he will take time and what God meant to do and defer what God meant to do into another season. That causes your hope 
to have issues. Now, hope is linked with expectation. It causes you to quit expecting God to move. This is what hell is after. Your hope, because if hell can get your hope, he can do several things with you. He can cause your faith to become dormant. And then in the midst of that, he can cause infirmity or weakness to come on you. Most sicknesses are loose, are, are aligned with hope deferred. Some way or another, you expected something to happen, and you got worn down in the process, and the enemy sent a spirit of affliction against you like an arrow. And some way or another, it went in. It's usually a word. It went into your inner man and started working against you and causing you to think certain things. You might not even be aware of some of them, but eventually you're losing the energy that the Lord is giving you to advance. And the Lord says today, I am here to release new energy in you. <laughs> 